Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to look at the Lewis structure for perchlorate ion. It comprises of one chlorine atom and four oxygen atoms. To determine its structure, we are first going to look at the total number of valence electrons. As here we have one chlorine atom and four oxygen atoms. In total we have 32 valence electrons for this molecule. We are also going to consider the additional electron that we have over here. As it has a negative charge, it means it accepts an additional electron. So make sure to count that electron as well. So in total, we have 32 valence electrons. Your chlorine will take the central position and all the oxygen atoms will be arranged around it like this. To show a bond, you can either place a pair of electrons or show a bond by using a straight line. And remember, each bond uses up two valence electrons. So in total, we have four bonds, which means we have used up eight out of 32 valence electrons. And we will start placing the rest of the electrons around oxygen atoms to complete their octets. So uh, after arranging the remaining electrons around oxygen, we have used up 32 valence electrons. And it might seem that this is the lowest structure for uh, perchlorate ion because every atom has eight valence electrons. But hold on. Chlorine is a period 3 element and it can have expanded octets which means it can accommodate more than 8 valence electrons. So it is always um, suggested to check formal charges to ensure that this Lewis structure is relevant. So by using this formula for formal charges we are going to calculate the formal charges of chlorine and oxygen atom. For chlorine there are 7 valence electrons out of which 0 are non-bonding and 8 are bonding which means it has a charge of plus 3. For oxygen, it is 6 valence electrons out of which 6 are non-bonding and 2 are bonding which means it has a charge of minus 1. Now if you arrange the charges around it, you will see that chlorine has plus 3 and there are 4 uh, oxygen atoms having minus 1 charge. So in all it will have a minus 1 charge on this uh, ion and it might seem that this Lewis structure is more accepted. But uh, for Lewis structures, we tend to go out for structures in which atoms have uh, charges as close to zero. So we can try that by shifting a pair of electrons uh, from oxygen atom in between the chlorine and oxygen atom. Here as we have a, a plus three charge on chlorine atom, we will shift the electrons from three oxygen atoms and see if it can help us uh, attain a formal charge of zero for chlorine atom. So for doing that, we will form three double bonds. That is, three of these oxygens will form double bond with chlorine and then we can check the charges um, of all the atoms again. Now if you calculate the formal charges of uh, chlorine and oxygen, the chlorine will have a zero formal charge over here. These oxygen atoms will also have zero formal charges, but only the oxygen that is forming a single bond with chlorine atom will have a minus one charge. So here out of five atoms that are present over here, four have the formal charges of zero and only one oxygen atom has a charge of minus one, which is fine because this ion already has a charge of minus one. So this is the more uh, relevant Lewis structure for ClO4 minus and because it is an ion, you should put brackets around it and also mention its charge because this is how we write the Lewis structures for ions. So this is the Lewis structure for ClO4 minus and I hope this video helps you to understand that easily. For more such videos on Lewis structure, molecular geometry, polarity of the molecules, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And thank you for watching.